Yo, so this is a pretty juicy topic here. So strap in your fucking seatbelts and get ready to rock. So today we're talking about fraud mama, or, or big fraud, uh, mid mama, uh, Shaw fraud mid mid. <laughs> you get the fucking idea. It's this pink haired bitch. And her name has been getting run through the fucking mud. And I can't help but feel a tiny, tiny bit bad. And you know what? You know, I feel bad for shitty characters. And, uh, you know, since nobody really likes big mom, I think I have to take the duty upon myself to become a big mom fan. But I'm gonna be honest. I don't really like her either, but the shit I've heard people say about her is just fucking off. So my friend Sir Boob, who I've mentioned before in a few videos, I think. It's raw. It's raw dog. Raw dog to cow. She said moo. No. Moo. No. Uh, the guy who doesn't watch One Piece and spoiled me on a bunch of shit. He spoiled me on Gear 5 when it was happening in the manga, that stupid motherfucker. He basically is a big One Piece fan, but he gets all of his information through One Piece and TikTok. And yes, this, these people exist. It, it's Disgust me, I fucking hate him. He's on episode 6 of One Piece right now, okay? <laughs> and he is fucking participating in wild arguments that he just knows fucking nothing about. But the other day, he was talking about how Zoro could easily take Big Mom, no problem. And I'm honestly appalled. I had to sit here and rant about it for like 5 minutes. Big Mom is, or well, I guess was, a Yonko, alright? She deserves her flower. So Big Mom can be called a lot of things. But there's one thing that is irrefutable when it comes to her. And that is that she is the Yonko with the best backstory at least at this very, uh, fucking moment. It won't be that way for very long, but at least she has one. Unlike fucking somebody. Big Mom has one of my favorite backstories now that I think about it. We have a pretty substantial amount of information and still leave with questions that could still be answered in the future. Who knows? Like, why the fuck is Big Mom so goddamn big? Her parents are normal-ass fucking people. I, I, I don't know how her mother gave birth to that fucking thing. I think the most likely reason is that she was probably experimented on by somebody, probably not Vegapunk at that point, but somebody probably involved with the world government. And her parents just drop her off to the Mother Carmel bitch, and we know how that shit ends. This big bitch eats fucking everyone there, and boom, she has her ridiculously broken devil fruit at like six years old. Actually, oh shit, I'm, I'm just remembering this now, but Big Mom was on fucking Elbath that entire time, wasn't she? So next arc, it's possible we get some answers to whatever the fuck is wrong with this bitch, or they just tell horror stories about that one time where she fucking destroyed Elbath when she was five years old, which by the way, is quite the fucking feet. I think if you take every character in One Piece and scale them down to five-year-olds, I think Big Mom's taken everyone. I don't give a shit. Her only real competition, I think, is Kaido. But anyway, she joins the Rocks Pirates. We don't know how the fuck she joined, but she did, and she did so before Kaido, and I'm gonna assume after Whitebeard, only because she's like 10 years younger than that horsecock wielding fuck. So we haven't seen the last of her, so there is some hope to see a young Big Mom in action that could possibly shut up some of the fucking haters. Either that, or they whip out their cock and start talking talking about her in a different way. Either way, shit will change. The discussion around her will change. And then for whatever reason, after the Rocks Pirate shit goes down, she starts pumping out five fucking kids a year for the remainder of her life. I, I don't know how the fuck that's possible. And out of her 85 total children, not a single one resembles her at all. Wait, wait, no, no, never, 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 never mind. There's that one, uh, compote, compote bitch but that's it. Let's look at Katakuri Oven and uh, Daifuku, or however the fuck you say his name. They are tied for the second or third sons of Big Mom, I believe. They're triplets and shit, right? Well, they look absolutely nothing alike, and Katakuri appears to have some kind of weird race going on, like Fishman or some shit with his crazy-ass mouth. I think it goes without saying that Big Mom is a fucking superhuman. All right, let's talk about what the fuck Fraud Mom accomplished in her debut arc. And that is not fucking much. She just has a temper tantrum over her goddamn wedding cake the entire time, pretty much. So it's pretty understandable as to why, you know, after seeing this bitch, why people wouldn't really fuck with her. I mean, she's pretty goddamn annoying, let's just be honest here. Her little quirk isn't the most delightful thing in the world, alright? I, I get it. And Wano doesn't exactly improve upon this quirk whatsoever. This bitch saying Oshiruko has been drilled into my fucking mind, and I can perfectly replicate it inside my head. Just watch. See, wasn't that good? But anyway, she clashes with fucking Kaido and is at least somewhat portrayed as his equal. Which, I mean, makes sense considering I don't think there's a huge gap between all the Yonko. This bitch was a Yonko for at least 20, maybe 30 years. Yeah, she's extremely annoying, but she's not getting no diffed by fucking Carrot. She's not getting no diffed by anybody. One thing I kind of wish happened was Big Mom showing out a little more on the roof. She had a couple decent moments here and there, but she just ends up fucking screaming on her little cloud in the background 
background half the time and is being like a plot device to show how strong certain characters are. Even characters like Brooke and shit. I mean, obviously Brooke kind of has her kryptonite, but you get what I mean. I'm gonna throw a hot take out here, okay? Alright, you know, just take your fucking seats, you know, listen to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spit some fucking crazy shit. If Big Mom was the fight Luffy 1v1 under the same circumstances as Kaido, the result would be the same. And I think it would be just as fucking hard for Luffy as it was for the fucking f if he fought Big Mom instead of Kaido. You get what I you get what I'm saying? Personally, I think Big Mom probably has an equal or better fruit to Kaido. I mean, I mean, come on. This bitch can bring her bones to life so they could heal themselves. That's fucking AIDS. Speaking of AIDS, I'm almost 99% sure that she has that shit. Unless she tested all of her baby daddies for STDs, but uh I, 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 I digress. Let's talk about Mid and Law versus Big Mom. So you know I love me some fucking Mid, alright? But, but I, I never saw this fight as totally fair just because of the way that they won. This wasn't a fair fight on a Minecraft Flat World 1v2. This was a fight on a giant fucking flying island with a goddamn volcano under the shit. They didn't incapacitate her, they just kinda shoved her into the hole, you know? I still think Mid and Law did okay. They're currently like slightly above Zoro and a little under Yamato right now and uh, at least I'd say in my, uh, un invalid opinion. But fucking come on, anybody can shove- okay, okay, maybe not anyone, but at least a decent amount of people can shove Big Mom, okay? It's difficult for anybody to set up those circumstances where there is a hole going into a fucking volcano and you have somebody fucking shooting a goddamn railgun into a hole, you know what I'm saying? That's a hard thing to do. I get that. And this bitch is still alive. Shut the fuck up. She won't be a super prevalent figure or anything, but she will be alive and she will play a role in something. All right, you know what? I'm going to end this video right now because I don't think I can delude myself much longer. I was going to talk about Big Mom versus the Admirals, but even then I'm starting to doubt myself because, I mean, what we're seeing in the manga right now, fucking Kizaru, Akainu, and really Aokiji too, they're going fucking nuts. I feel like... I've become dumber as a result of making this video. I'm sorry. Goodbye.